The name's Moore, Roger Moore. I'm here at Waterstones in London's Piccadilly, where I'll be meeting Sir Roger Moore, who's here to sign copies of his book. For me, he's number one. I was born in the 70s, grew up in the 70s, and uh, that was my era, so he's my bond. Well done, Rog. What is it about Roger Moore that you all love so much? I actually saw my first Bond movie, my favourite, The Man with the Golden Gun, with uh, Roger Moore, and uh, it's been pretty hard to replace him ever since, really. Now, without further ado, and for your eyes only, Sir Roger Moore. <laughs> thank Roger, you. thank you so much for joining us. Not at all, thank you. Now, you grew up in Stockwell, in south-west London, during the Second World War. That must have been a pretty tough start to life, was it? Well, I didn't think it was tough. <laughs> I knew, knew no other life. Uh, I was an only child, brought up... Uh, uh, St Ockwell, we like to say. No, St Ockwell. St Ockwell, <laughs> yes, which is north of Clam. And my book chronicles those early days. But those early days, uh, as every day is, is useful when you are an actor because you have memories of people and things to recall. You know, to recall. Talking about the decision to become an actor, you make it sound like it was incredibly easy just to break into films. Do you think you had it particularly lucky, or? Yes, I, I'm very lucky. I, I was told at one point when I when I started um, in the business that you need. 33% talent, 33% personality appearance, and 33% luck. I say you need 99.9% .9 luck and two little percentages of the other. And I started in television in 1948. The BBC, Alexander Palace, that's the only television station there was in England, two stages. And you, uh, you got on with the play, and if you dried, there was a prompt very loud on air. And probably the producer's voice anyway, stupid boy. <laughs> hey, you celebrated a birthday recently. Did you do anything special to celebrate? Uh, yes, I went to Leicester Square, the Odeon Leicester Square, <laughs> and put my handprints for posterity. Oh. My feet are in Los Angeles, outside 2007, 2007. Hollywood Boulevard, my handprints are here, and uh, I suppose somewhere my rear end prints will be uh, <laughs> in the future, probably in Paris. Sir Roger Moore, what's your favourite Bond film of all time? My favourite Bond film of all time? Uh, that I was in? Or I not. wasn't in? <laughs> Either. Um, well, I'm going to my films. It'd be nice to sell a few DVDs. <laughs> uh, Spy Who Loved Me. And do you think that's the best Bond film that you ever acted in? Uh, for me, it was the best I did. Uh, Lewis Gilbert directed. He did Moonraker as well, but I particularly liked that one. I liked the locations, living at the Calais de Volpe in Sardinia and learning to ride a wet bike, which had never been seen on the screen before. Wonderful, wonderful time. Who's your favourite Bond girl? Uh, I never really play favourites about who, who did I like. Uh, but Maud Adams did do too. She was in Man with a Golden Gun with Christopher Lee and Octopussy. And your favourite Bond baddie? Uh, well, the last one I worked with I thought was terrific, Chris Walken, because it was a completely off-the-wall sort of villain. Well, the picture was a bit off-the-wall too. And I, I'd certainly fallen off of that wall at that point, but uh, Kurt Jurgens I loved. He was uh, wonderful. They were all good villains, but they, there again, they always had the best parts. They got to say everything. Bond, all he says, the names, you know, whatever it is. And, and then, they say, then they start saying how the world is going to be destroyed. I always thought I might come out with my name Spond, James Spond. <laughs> but fortunately, I mean, fortunately for Sean, because he would have been very upset if I'd done it that way. <laughs>